Hello there. Hello, hello. So, um, we are going to start the last unit of this course by discussing sort of the end uh, at the beginning. And let me explain the reasoning for this. Uh, we want to lay out the basic circuit principles and operation of a very simple radio receiver. Okay, so this one that you're seeing on the screen here, let me grab my pointer. Um, is an AM radio receiver. An FM radio receiver requires a bit more in terms of electronic components, and we have limited time. Uh, though the principles that we discuss here, you know, you can, and along with the rest of the stuff that we've learned about circuits in the course, will give you a nice jumping off point to, to understanding more complicated radio receivers and transmitters and things like that. But things scale up pretty quickly once you get into sort of commercial scale radios. Okay, but it's the principles, principles we're looking for, like with a lot of things in this course. So we're going to have a very specific focus on breaking down each component of this radio receiver one at a time and describing the necessary background that we need to understand its basic function in this radio receiver circuit. Because when we're talking about a radio receiver, the electric signal that appears on the antenna and then gets translated into audio here on the, uh, on the speaker, um, well, that's an AC circuit. And we have covered a little bit with AC circuits, but only the very basics, you know, RMS and peak values and just for resistor circuits rather than adding in a bunch of capacitors or inductors like we're seeing uh, here, capacitor and inductor. Okay. And the general case of the AC circuit with inductors and capacitors and other more complicated uh, elements and how they work together and all of these things, I mean, that's that's a whole course, or at least a big section of a course, all by itself. And so what we're going to do is try to walk uh, a very narrow path, understanding just enough about all of these bits so that we can understand how they work together to give us the result that we want from our simple AM radio receiver here. Okay, so that's the, the goal and the path forward. And of course, uh, if you get to one of these sections of this description of the radio receiver and you're wondering about it and you're wanting a little bit more detail, I will be posting some web links to things on capacitors and inductors and these kind of circuits in general. And so you'll be able to glean a little bit from there. And your textbook reading will also have a little bit more information behind what we'll cover here in the video lectures. And of course, you can always drop into uh, one of my office hours or request more stuff from me directly. Uh, and please, please do. I, I'm happy to supply it. So uh, we're going to follow the signal in our simple radio receiver from sort of uh, off this end of the diagram to the antenna and through the tuner or tank circuit through the detector or decoder, this diode and filtering element, to the speaker. And each video is approximately going to cover one of these elements. And the next video that I have, I'll keep this one nice and short, uh, will cover the antenna and sort of the, the electromagnetic wave that hits the antenna off here, sort of to the left on this diagram. But just to give you a couple of ideas of what kind of questions we're going to be answering over the next, uh, well, depending on how I split it up, you know, a few to several video lectures. Um, what is each component doing? Why is it necessary? Do we really need a capacitor in there? Do we really need a diode? Do we really need a filter? Do we really need an antenna? All of these kind of things. And uh, also why the signal received at the antenna doesn't go directly to ground, right? If we're receiving an electromagnetic wave, we, 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 and it's inducing an AC signal at that carrier frequency on the antenna. So you can imagine, you know, electrons moving back and forth in the antenna, moving down and through here, causing a current to flow. And if an inductor is what it appears to be, which is just like a coil of wire, why doesn't the current just go directly to ground? Why does it bother to go over here through the rest of these components? It's a good question to ask and one that will eh, do a fair bit of, of answering.
answering. And uh, lastly, how can an electromagnetic wave at 1200 kilohertz, for example, you can just pick a number, uh, be translated into something that we can hear? And that's a big question. That's basically asking, how does this radio receiver work? And once we put all the elements together, we will answer that question as well. So I will see you for our discussion of electromagnetic waves and antennas, or antennae, uh, in not too long a time. See you then.